Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. What's going on? <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with hair like blood. The outlander that took down the bulwark. You bested Regala. Killed her champion Greta, too. Both of them were our clan. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Uh, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It's harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First Sawtooths, then Ravagers. Now, a sandblasted Thunderjaw. Hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. Had to leave half my hunters behind to pen it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Hearts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. That means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Well, I must be dehydrated. So you're a chaplain, like Decca. You've met Decca? Her blades were something to behold, back when I still had a squad. Now, just like she counsels the Lowlanders, I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path, when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> You're not upset, I thought, Regala? The Desert respects strength. Why shouldn't I do the same? Wouldn't expect any followers she has left to follow suit, though. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I'll go with you. Very well. We leave for the Southeast Canyon. May the Ten protect you, then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. You do that. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. My outlander. Can Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. And Jataka has the stones to tell me. The commander has good reason to be strict with our water supply. Nice. You think she doesn't? I think she's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? No. I bet they dip their hand in the trough whenever they want. Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to scrape by. To fight, tooth and nail, to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? I've lived in the fringes of the desert my entire life. I fought for every single mouthful of water I've ever had. I know I'm a better fighter. And I'm prettier. Uh-huh. I'd make sure everyone gets all the water they need, no matter what village they're from. 
Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'll be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. I guess that's a good way to look at things. There it is. Gotta get some more ammo. Follow me. You'll uh, have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place Stuff to prepare themselves finish. before herding machines into the canyon. You're uh, welcome to any supplies you can find. Might need them for the fight ahead. Thanks. There we go. Let's move out. So, what's Anora looking for out in the Forbidden West? Who says I'm looking for something? I doubt you traveled all the way out here just for the scenery. I'm trying to fix something. I see. All right, you can keep your secrets. I guess I should just be thankful you decide my problems are worth fixing, too. You harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, it will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. I'd be grateful. That's all the parts we need. I should take these to Draka. May the wings of the Ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah. At least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines... I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged, too. Will you come with me? 
Lead the way. Glad to have you along. think so many have to die just to get water did you try talking to your commander at scalding spear <sighs> please the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn about that wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it i'm just passing through draka uh, can't blame me for trying <sighs> this is it where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry, Draka. They were warriors to the end. We should get started. Someone's alive. By the rocks. <laughs> Speak sense, soldier. I should check on Draka and that soldier. Hot as an author and forge, as Aaron would say. Been 
didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh... I know I'm racking up favors here, but, uh... Would you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. Turned. Um, Where's like Draka? Just a little late, Chaplain. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a Thunder Jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to the Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? I heard what you did at the Grove. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan. But our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. <laughs> 